Melanoma is a type of skin cancer that develops from the cells known as melanocytes, which produce the pigment melanin responsible for skin, hair, and eye color. While melanoma often occurs on the skin, it can also develop in other parts of the body, such as the eyes and mucous membranes. Melanoma is known for its potential to metastasize, making early detection and treatment crucial. As always, these ideas are discussed in more depth in the book Cancer Self-Defense 101, Quick Tips to Help You Survive. All citations for studies quoted in this video can be found in the book's bibliography at cancerselfdefense101.com. This video is intended as information, not medical advice. It is not intended to treat, diagnose, or cure any disease. Any medical advice should come from an appropriately credentialed medical professional familiar with your unique circumstances. Standard of care treatments. The treatment approach for melanoma depends on the stage at diagnosis. Standard treatments include surgery. Surgical removal of the melanoma is the primary treatment for early stage melanoma. This can often be curative when the cancer is limited to the skin. Immunotherapy, immune checkpoint inhibitors such as pembrolizumab, Keytruda, and nivolumab, Opdivo, enhance the body's immune response against cancer cells. They are used for advanced melanoma and have shown significant success in improving survival rates. Targeted therapy, for melanomas with specific genetic mutations, for example, BRF mutations, targeted therapies like Vemurafenib, Zelbaraf, and Dabrafenib, Tafinla, are available. Radiation therapy. This may be used to treat melanoma that has spread to lymph nodes or other areas of the body. Chemotherapy. While traditional chemotherapy has limited effectiveness against melanoma, it may be used in some cases when other treatments are not suitable. Seriousness compared to other cancers. Melanoma is a serious cancer due to its potential to metastasize. In its early stages, when confined to the skin, it is highly treatable with surgery and carries a good prognosis. However, once it spreads to other parts of the body, especially vital organs like the lungs, liver, or brain, it becomes more challenging to treat and the prognosis worsens. Melanoma is considered the most aggressive type of skin cancer. Prognosis for different stages. Stage one, melanoma. In stage one, when the cancer is limited to the top layer of skin, the epidermis, or the upper part of the second layer, the dermis, the prognosis is generally excellent with a five-year survival rate of over 90%. Surgical removal is often curative. Stage four, melanoma. At stage four, when the cancer has spread to distant organs, the prognosis is much poorer with a five-year survival rate below 25%. However, recent advancements in immunotherapy and targeted therapies have improved outcomes for some patients with stage four melanoma. Promising therapeutics and FDA-approved medications. Several promising therapeutics for melanoma have been developed with some receiving FDA approval. These include immune checkpoint inhibitors, for example, pembrolizumab, nivolumab, targeted therapies, for example, vemurafenib, dabrafenib, and combination therapies. The field of melanoma research is dynamic, with ongoing clinical trials exploring new treatments and combinations to improve patient outcomes. One website to research promising melanoma clinical trials is onclive.com. The book Cancer Self Defense 101 Quick Tips to Help You Survive is replete with examples of integrative treatments that produced survival benefits against cancer. Mohs Surgery for Melanoma Mohs Surgery, also known as Mohs Micrographic Surgery, is a specialized and highly precise surgical technique primarily used for the removal of certain skin cancers, including melanoma. While it is not the standard treatment for all melanoma cases, Mohs surgery can offer significant advantages in specific situations and is considered an improvement over traditional surgical techniques in those cases. Tumor removal. 
Mohs surgery begins with the surgical removal of the visible melanoma tumor and a thin margin of surrounding healthy tissue. This initial step is similar to standard excisional surgery. Tissue examination, what sets Mohs surgery apart is the immediate and detailed examination of the removed tissue. The surgeon freezes the tissue and then precisely maps and divides it into sections. Microscopic analysis. Each tissue section is examined under a microscope by the surgeon, searching for any remaining cancer cells at the surgical margins. This step allows for real-time assessment of the tumor's extent. Layer-by-layer -layer removal. If cancer cells are found at the edges of a tissue section, the surgeon precisely removes another layer of tissue only from the affected area, preserving as much healthy tissue as possible. Repeat as necessary. Steps three and four are repeated until no cancer cells are visible in the examined tissue. This ensures that all cancerous cells are removed while sparing healthy tissue. Mohs surgery is known for its high cure rates, particularly for certain types of skin cancers with well-defined borders, such as basal cell carcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma. While melanoma is typically more aggressive and may not be as straightforward, Mohs surgery can still be effective in carefully selected cases. With its meticulous approach, Mohs surgery often results in fewer follow-up surgeries than traditional excisional surgery, reducing the likelihood of incomplete cancer removal. Why melanoma is tricky melanoma presents several challenges. Metastatic potential. Melanoma has a high potential to spread to distant organs, making early detection crucial. Immunosuppression. The skin's immune environment can suppress immune responses, allowing melanoma to evade detection. Genetic heterogeneity. Melanoma can have various genetic mutations, affecting treatment response and disease progression. Sun exposure. UV radiation from the sun is a significant risk factor for melanoma, making prevention and early detection critical. Risk factors for developing melanoma. UV exposure. Excessive sun exposure, tanning bed use, and occupational exposure to UV radiation increase the risk. Skin type. Fair-skinned individuals with a history of sunburns are at higher risk. Family history. A family history of melanoma can elevate the risk. Certain moles. Atypical or dysplastic moles can increase susceptibility. Organizations and resources. Several organizations provide support, education, and resources for individuals with melanoma and their families, including Melanoma Research Foundation, MRF, offers patient support, education, and advocacy. Cancer Care, offers counseling, support groups, and financial assistance for cancer patients. For more information, please see the book Cancer Self-Defense 101, Quick Tips to Help You Survive.